Hey Hans and Christy, this is Donny Vaughn. Uh, let me give you a quick tutorial today on how to change this section of your site. And I'm talking about the home page text right here. Uh, right next to these scrolling images, I'm going to show you how to change that as well as I'm going to show you how to change these particular pictures should you ever want to do that. So let's take a moment to do that. First off, you'll want to log into your dashboard, and I'm going to do that. I've already done that, but um, this is what you'll see. And here's how you'll do that. First, to change the home page text here, you'll come back here to, and scroll down. And if this is not checked, I'll push that to ex expose the uh, pull down options. Click the word settings. From here, if you'll scroll down until you see this section right here. Now right now we've chosen to leave the title blank. So right now if we were to put a title it would be something up here. And it's a different font and so that's why we chose to not have anything there. But this text here is what you can see. All that text is what matches up to right there. So if you ever want to change that you can. Now what you want to be careful about if you decided you wanted to change a lot is this section is limited on how much text it can receive and so you couldn't put another two or three paragraphs because it would just scroll off the page and it wouldn't look very good so you're kind of limited on what you can do type here but if you wanted to change something on here uh, at some point you might want to say it's been in business for over 32 years or 35 years or something along those lines this is where you would change that so again log into your dashboard click the my theme settings and then scroll down to this section right here and this is where you'll change that now let me also ch show you how to change the pictures that you have here if you decided that you wanted to add pictures um, this is where you'll do that same section under my theme this time under what they call featured images and this is where again you see all of the images that are rotating are all located right here so if I sat there and watched all these, and you can see the order that they go in, there's the cake and then there's the, so it goes in the same order that's listed here. And then it starts back up over at the top and then it works its way down. Um, these, they do have to be at this certain size here. Um, we can help you crop those if you run into problems with any of those. But the, these do have to have that certain size, otherwise they'll look distorted and you don't want that on these particular scrolling images. If you ever decided that you wanted to um, put something, let's say you wanted a new picture between here and here, what we've done is we've kind of labeled these with these alphabetical A1, C1. We did that on purpose to give ourselves room so you could always put an N1, like N is in Nancy, and it would go in between there. Or you could put an M2, uh, however you want. And that's just how we determined to label the file so that it would give us room for the future growth. And then obviously if you decided you didn't like this item or you weren't selling this item anymore, this chicken salad plate, you could always delete that real easily. And then I think after you delete, you always have to save it. And, or that also is the case if you ever add anything and you want to save it, this is what you would do. Make the change and then go down here and hit save. While you're here, you can also see that um, you can change the length of the display as well as the fade. And that's just something that you might want to ever consider changing. That's how you would change that. Okay, I hope that helps.